Yes, it's coming. I'm getting your banana, of course. Good morning. Bye. Today is the first time in a while that is actually cold in Florida. So I'm gonna put sweatpants on. Where's the money? Thank you. Thank you so much. Looks like we're ready for Christmas. At Starbucks at least. And every store out there. It's not even Thanksgiving yet and we already have Christmas decorations everywhere. I just got this here. 3M window weld. This is something I'm gonna use to glue the um, adapter for the max air fan so i have the materials i have the max air the only thing missing now is the adapter it doesn't come with it i have to order it separately from ebay it should be here any day so once it arrives i'm gonna be installing the max air fan which is the first step to really really starting this van conversion because i'm gonna be cutting a hole in the roof and once you cut a hole in the roof you're committed, so we're almost there. These are the holes that were left after removing the D-rings and I'm trying to find screws that will fit in these holes. These are the ones that came out of it. Yeah, okay. It looks so, yeah. like it looks like that right there. Uh -huh. You tell them you want that size, but you just want to and I don't want this part here. You don't here. want no shoulder on it. Oh, okay, no. Just covering these holes. I want to tighten it. Okay. I have um, two extra that we didn't need. Let's talk about the layout. What I'm thinking about is um, having and I still haven't decided, but I am really thinking about having a partition wall here with a pocket door right here. Then up here is where I would like to have the AC unit. I need a place where I can sit and work. So a little bench with a table. It's just me here. So I just need one nice, comfortable place to sit. I'm going to have some cabinets up here. No window on this side because I'm gonna have a window on the sliding door and then two bunk windows, one here, one here. No, here, in the middle, right here. So these have to come off. I'm gonna have some cabinets up here and the bed here, a full-size bed. No cabinets up here, that way I can just sit up and not hit my head on anything. The max air fan is going to go up here. Underneath the bed I'm gonna have the electric system probably on this side and then the water system on this other side. A little bit of storage underneath and over here. Oh actually I forgot the most important thing. Over here between the bed and the bench I want to have my shower and a compost toilet then over here the kitchen that's basically the idea one thing I'm learning from this process is to be patient because converting a van takes a long time and I really haven't even started yet everything takes longer than expected ordering things take longer than expected doing research I'm going to pick up my sister we're gonna go to dinner tonight and then I will see you guys tomorrow good night bunny buns
I saw a video today that was cute. They said that in Hawaiian, you don't call yourself your pet's owner. You call yourself their kahu, which means guardian or protector. So am I, am I your kahu? Am I your kahu? Am I your, oh, no, yes. Are we best friends at least? What, what are you doing up there? You can't just sit on me. I'm driving to the gym. It's um, actually a CrossFit gym. The class starts in five minutes. There is a lot of, um, what, is, what is the workout? Some uh, dumbbell snatches, jump rope, and some ab work, I think. Something like that, so. As you can see, I'm very sweaty now because I just finished the workout. It was six rounds of 10 knee raises, 10 dumbbell snatches and 60 jump rope. I did that in 10 minutes. It wasn't too hard, but it was enough to get me sweating. So that was good. And then before, that, before doing that, uh, we did some heavy back squats. So I got a good workout. <laughs> I, uh, I noticed that, and I don't know if you can tell, but apart from my hair being wet right now from the sweat, it's also very oily because I just started using rosemary oil three times a week at night to help my hair grow and just look stronger and healthier. One of my nieces told me about it and I started doing this about a week and a half ago and I swear I can already tell the difference. My hair seems to be a little bit less dry and I may be losing less hair. I was losing so much hair. I would take a shower and then look in the shower and see a bunch of hair. I didn't know how I still had any hair left. So it's been better and I, I think it's a little too soon to say that it's actually the rosemary oil working, but maybe. It could be. I'll uh, I'll keep it, I'll keep doing it for a few months, and then and then I'll be able to tell for sure if it's uh, worth worth uh, living with oily hair a few days a week. Um, anyway, now I'm just gonna go home and grab my sunglasses, change my shirt since I'm so sweaty. But uh, I'm not gonna take a shower yet because I'm going to go pick up my van and go to my sister's house to pick up some of her furniture that she needs to get rid of and then pick up some doors from my garage that I need to get rid of and then you know just use my van one more time before I start uh, converting it so I will see you guys in a few minutes when I get my van all right a few minutes later and here I am driving my Ram ProMaster and um, I'm always a little nervous now when I'm driving this van because it's so much bigger than my RAV4. I'm not used to driving it so I have to be extra careful but I do, I do think that I should drive it more often before I convert it just so that I can so so that I can get used to it, you know. Ah, I can't even talk because I'm nervous.
Guys, I'm a little embarrassed to say this, but I still haven't showered. I just got home from moving all of that furniture with my sister. We got rid of some furniture, old furniture, and um, just got back home, made myself some soup, some uh, tomato, I thought it was tomato basil soup, but it was uh, tomato, garlic, and oregano soup, those little containers that you can get at Publix from uh, Panera, Panera brand. Really good soup if you like tomato soup. You may be able to tell by my wet hair that I finally took a shower. So coming in to the van right here, the fan is going to go up here and I need to build that 14 by 14 uh, frame so that I can attach the fan to the frame from the outside. So I'm just gonna leave this here and when I get the adapter that I ordered, then we can look at the whole thing and okay. see how it goes together. Since I'm not going to be doing anything here now, I will call my sister and see if she wants to go for a run. Even though I already took a shower, I could take another one later. It's not going to hurt anyone. We are training for a 5K in Thanksgiving. Every Thanksgiving we run a 5K, like it's a family thing. And I haven't been running. So a few days ago we went for a run and it took me 11 and a half minutes to complete a mile, which is not terrible, but I would like to be able to run a mile in 10 minutes. And I'm not trying to compete with anyone but myself. I'm competing with myself because I've done this, we've done it for, this is going, going to be our fourth year doing it, I think. So I think it took me 33 minutes last year to complete the 5K. So I would like to be able to complete it in 30 minutes instead. That would be a lot better. I don't know. I'll try. We'll see. You go first. She's a faster runner, so all right, I'm going to start mine. One mile. <laughs> Eleven minutes, a little better than last time. <laughs> Even though I had to stop and tie my shoe, um, I think I can do a ten-minute mile eventually if I keep training, keep practicing, keep running. My sister just continued running. She she can run pretty fast. <sighs> my legs are heavy. What can I say? Mmm, hungry. I'm gonna sleep well tonight. I would say I had a pretty busy day. Tomorrow, I'll try getting up a little earlier tomorrow so that I can go to the gym earlier. What's the workout? Tomorrow. Oh, it's a partner workout. Deadlifts, pull-ups, air bike on the, not the bike the bike it's the hardest thing ever hi buns you want to hang out we can hang out okay she's just gonna she's just gonna sit there sometimes she likes sitting right over there she might do that soon when she sees me here she um, she wants to hang out she's very friendly uh, I would say that rabbits, oh, she left, are a little bit like cats in that they will come out and hang out with you whenever they want to hang out with you. Um, she doesn't do it very often, but when she does, she's very cuddly and sweet. 
And uh, usually she hangs out when she wants something from me. So she likes me to scratch her head and give her snacks. Just typical bunny. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna eat and relax. So thank you for hanging out with me today. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.